What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I wanted to go over a couple of different lenses that I've purchased over the last year. I've purchased uh, two Sigma brand lenses. One was a 16 millimeter, the other was a 30 millimeter. And today we're gonna go over the differences both in overall look and how they look in the camera. Let's get after it. All right, so right now I've got the Sony A5100 kit lens, AKA the lens that comes with the camera currently in use right now. When I went to upgrade lenses, I talked to a photographer friend of mine and he suggested getting a Sigma lens. So I went out and I did very little research and I picked up a 30 millimeter lens. I saw outstanding reviews, overall quality looked great, but I didn't understand the 30 millimeter thing. So I just bought it. I had immediate regrets. This is the size of a 30 millimeter lens. Here's the actual unboxing, if you will. And there's the wide open lens in the back. After the mistake I made of buying the 30 millimeter lens, I realized I had to go down in millimeters to get the desired look that I was looking for. So I went out and I bought a 16 millimeter lens. Now, let me just give you all a, a size comparison of the 30 millimeter lens and the 16 millimeter lens. It, it's a very large difference. And I'll go ahead and pop the lenses off here for you. Very, very large fisheye in the front and a very small lens on the inside. Now I'm gonna plug in the 30 millimeter lens. I'm not gonna change any settings. I'm not gonna change the position of the camera. You're gonna see the reason why a 30 millimeter lens for my application was not a good choice. Check this out. And this is the 30 millimeter lens by Sigma. It's a wonderful lens. It's got great quality, but man, it's a little cropped. This is not it zoomed in. This is the camera still about two feet away. My, my arm is completely extended out. So even if I rock my chair back about a foot, all right, about a foot. Now I'm, I'm like lounging in my chair right now and, and the camera is extremely far away. I, uh, it's still way too close for my application. So I realized really quick that I made a grave mistake in, in getting this lens. So then after doing more research, I realized I should have gone with the 16 millimeter lens, which I'm about to show you now. And this is a Sigma 16 millimeter lens. Again, this is completely outstretched. The Sigma 16 millimeter lens paired with the Sony a5100 is actually a wonderful combination to have. Now let's talk about specifics here. The 30 millimeter lens, a super cropped in one, comes in at a price tag of about 250 bucks. Whereas the 16 millimeter lens comes in around 370, 390. $90 range, which is very expensive, but the quality is there. Sigma is a wonderful brand. Whether you're using this for live streaming or if you're using this for general photography, Sigma lenses are hard to beat. If you'd like to see this lens in action more than on this YouTube video, you can watch it live over on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sorefeet X or on Facebook gaming over at facebook.com forward slash Sorefeet Live. I'll have the links below for both the Sigma 30 millimeter and the 16 millimeter Sony E-mount lenses down in the description as well as all social media links. Any other questions, comments, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully this gives you a little insight. It's something I kind of wish I would have seen prior to ordering mine. I hope this helps somebody. Remember, don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, don't drink and text. Have a wonderful and safe day and we'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. I'm out.